Hey everybody, this is Freddy the Farmer from the Wise Guy Show. I'm here at Soprano Ma Movie Con here with Bella Yo Angelo. Buonasera. And Christopher Sharon from the movie Goodfellas. What's up, Chris? How you doing, guys? Thanks for having me. Hey, Chris, uh, you got any uh, cigarettes? Uh, <laughs> you got any cartons of cigarettes? Yeah, right? Plum all some luck. Straight <laughs> off the truck. <laughs> Now, no, I was uh, I was joking around earlier because um, uh, I, she called me over to do the interview. My head was a million places. Uh, my you apologies. Thought, you thought I was in the Bronx, Taylor. It's okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> but but uh, listen, uh, with that face, you could be in any movie, mob movie, and I'll never know. Uh, but uh, Goodfellas, now, how was that experience back then? Did you even think that it would get to this that's still going on in the hype? No, uh, I'll be honest. I, I barely knew who the guys were. I was only 12 years old when I filmed. My mom and dad knew. Oh my God, Robert De Niro, Marshall, you know, obviously. Yeah, Me, I had no so real kid, idea. Yeah. You played the young Henry Hill. The young well, Ray Liotta. That's right, Ray Liotta. Uh, when Goodfellas got released, I was 13 and a freshman in high school. It just took oh, off. And man. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a wild 30 years, to yeah. say the least. Yeah, amazing, amazing 30 years. And now the mob movie con, Soprano con. I tell you what, Michael Moda and Daniel Trader. You know, the guys that put yep, this yep. on, yep. they are fucking geniuses ahead of their time. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've heard rumors of my movie cons going back 20 years. No one had the balls or the way to put it together the way they did. Well, did you hear the new announcement? And in Vegas? Oh, Gotti. Two. I know. Gotti, too. Dude, right? I can't wait. I, I guess it'll be the prison years, right? Yeah. Because it, it, it yeah. ended with him going uh -huh. in. You know, I'd be honest, I haven't seen that in about five years. But when I go back home, I'm going to have to revisit it. Well, you know what it is? is I watched the, the, the John Travolta one, and I have friends. We have friends in that. Uh, William DeMayo, right? And, uh, but, uh, Great guy, William. It, the story's the same. To remake that, it takes, it's hard, you know, to make a remake of a good movie. Um, you're talking about uh, actors that are just... Uh, you got feet, uh, shoes to fill, and it, yeah. doesn't, it doesn't but, always work. But see, they, the, the challenge is, see... Gotti, new Gotti with Travolta took the challenge to do the remake of Gotti. Now, the bigger challenge is to do a part two of a great movie in itself. That's got to be the hardest thing. Now, you're in the business, so tell me, tell me to, to follow up a movie after that. People yeah. ask all the time, are they going to do a Goodfellas 2? And I'm like, how? How? Yeah, right. People ask, are they going to, like, they'll ask Lilo, are you going to make a Bronx Tale 2? And it's like, <laughs> well, it could happen. It, it just takes happen. a genius director, it's someone with. Writer. Hey, look, they got the prequel to The Sopranos, right? Yeah. The Main Saints of Newark. That's they did right. that, right? So they That's did that. amazing. So nothing can be nothing's possible. You know what I mean? I, I hear you, but you I didn't do no Sopranos at all. I, I was uh, I was in college at the time. That's one of the things I was looking for when I came here. I could have sworn, I, but you know, you never know. I'm getting older. I'm forgetting. It happens. Me too. But uh, you got anything coming up now? You working? So on? yeah. So we just finished a film called The Family's Feud. Uh, How's that going along, Bruce Sosha? Yeah, great guy, absolutely. Bruce, I can't wait. Bruce Buster Sosha, yeah. my, you know, the biggest teddy bear you'll yeah, ever great meet. Guy. Great awesome guy. guy. Uh, and it had everybody, Artie Pasquale, Tony Darrow, you know, it was a who's who. It looks who. great. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm just dying to see it. It's in post-production now. You know, mind you, COVID kind of yeah, slowed yeah, everything yeah. up. Uh, and then I did my first horror film. What? Uh, it's called Pumpkin Hole. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> right. How was that experience? Go with whatever you want with that one. Yeah. Uh, it, was in, it, was, it was incredible. Yeah, It'll imagine. be out on Netflix for Halloween Sick. this year. Oh, great. Cool. Sick. So, hey, mate, can we, do, we get you on the show. You can talk about it. We do a big, we're a big Halloween. Uh, yeah. We do Halloween. I know you guys. Yeah, no, I know. I know, but, but I'm, I tried to explain to somebody. Here, here's our card. Thank you. That's the, the talent coordinator. We'll hook something up for Halloween. Even if you can make a live appearance where you're living in New Jersey, New York. Colorado. Oh, well, you can walk over to the studio. We're only in Franklin Lakes, New Jersey. Like, I, I had to set the Italian flag up there for God us. Bless. You know? There you go. So we, you. we do a lot of horror cons and stuff like that. So when we were at horror con one time, the guy, uh, Robert Bruce, uh, came over to me and said, what's wise guys got to do with horror con? I said, what are you kidding me? I said, the most horrific scene ever in any movie was the horse's head in the Godfather scene. I said, there's nothing more horrific than that in the whole history of Hollywood. That's I pretty, said, right? like, and that's real horror. That's yeah, not yeah, fake yeah, horror. That was real pretty. shit. So, uh, Chris, I want to thank you so much, and I'm really, uh, let, uh, have a great time tonight. You, uh, I'm going to see you later we upstairs. We the Movie Awards? Yes, I will be there. What I, hear, press? What I, press? I hear the fix is in, but you didn't hear that from me. I don't know nothing. <laughs> I don't know nothing. But, uh. I do. I want to uh, hope to see you in October. We'll Absolutely. schedule a show with Chris yeah. coming on. We're doing Acho. We're going to do an Acho? Yeah, let's do it. Acho? Acho. Oh. On the count of three. Uno, due, tre, Acho! Thank you so much. Thank you.